I don't think there was anybody on our staff who had been through anything like this. That is definitely the case. I mean, say what you want about anybody. Nobody had experienced a crisis, a, a breaking news to this magnitude. And so at that point, it's a whole new ball game. I don't, no matter how, it would have taken a, a city editor who'd been through catastrophes to really know what they were doing. But as reporters, your job is always the same. I mean, this, I, we'd spent the summer covering fires and when breaking news happens, you go to the scene. This is a really, really intense version of that, but it was, I mean, you're, I guess it was instinct and I mean, and muscle memory. So the reason I bring up the fire is because fires have such a, um, how am I gonna say this? Fires are almost like a, a military operation where they will set up a command post and you will, you will talk to PIOs and the situation that was developing at Umpqua Community College looked very familiar to me at that point. Like I understood what I was dealing with now that they were gonna try to shuttle all the media in one area and say, all right, we're gonna start leaking information out to you piece by piece. Um, so knowing that that was what was going on at Winchester Station, I would get emails to my phone that would tell me when that they were gonna go deliver news. So knowing that, I knew that I didn't have to sit there. I'd been on fire coverage where they're gonna say, all right, we're gonna talk, we're gonna release these statements now. So if, if, when, if they're not releasing statements, I'm not gonna sit there and wait and have my hands in my pockets and charge my phone. 